wonderful, wonderful Jesus. You are my friend. The Bible says, for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. The ninth verse says, to another faith by the same Spirit. And then it says, to another the gifts of healing, to another the working of miracles. But it is by the Spirit of God. And as we preach around the world, they come by the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands, and millions of them. And they come to hear the word and to be healed of their sicknesses and their pains and afflictions. Many times we pray for them en masse, and miracles happen without even touching anybody. And so many are healed. I charge you now, come out of the bodies. Blind receive sight. She was blind for 20 years. She was blind. In Jesus of the hand. She was blind for 20 years. The deaf Papa. Papa. The lame walk. There are more crutches. Look at those crutches. I can see another wheelchair over there. Wave those crutches so I can see them. So many are restored to health without even touching them. We lay hands on people because Jesus said to lay hands on them. We speak the word to them because Jesus said to do the same. And we minister to them in exactly the way Jesus did in Bible days. And they get Bible results every time when they believe in Jesus. Jesus said to me, tell the whole story to the whole world. Someone asked a question, do you believe in these miracles? How do you open blind eyes? How can a lame man start walking? What is the source of your strength? At different times in life, people require these supernatural manifestations. Miracles are recorded for us in the scriptures so that we might have faith in the power of a living, resurrected Christ. The healing miracles performed through the ministry of Pastor Chris You're are done through the power in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe in this miracle Is the same yesterday and today My God is still changing lives still the miracle How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In the same way, for this purpose, God anointed Pastor Chris, and he is doing the same things Jesus Christ began to do and teach. Jesus healed many people, so many, many people, and he is still doing it today. 
In Matthew chapter 8, verse 16, the Bible records that when the even was come, they brought unto Jesus many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. Many times in meetings with Pastor Chris, we witness the continuation of the works of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us how that Jesus gave the word. He would say, rise up and walk. Paul did the same thing. He would say, stand up. They just gave the word. They just spoke the word. Many times in these meetings, Pastor Chris just gives the word of knowledge or calls out specific cases. Someone who came into this place with a terrible spinal problem, you've been healed in your spine. If you will move your back, move your back, that pain is gone, that trouble in the spine is gone. For someone with a very painful breast cancer that's being healed right now, nothing is burning up tonight. The pain is leaving you and that cancer dies in the name of Jesus. At times, he stands in front of the sick person and gives an instruction, commanding the devils out. We find someone who is carried in for the meeting, suddenly walking, jumping, and running. It's amazing and cannot be explained humanly. Many times, Pastor Chris also touches some and lays his hands on others, as Jesus did, and they are healed. In one of our many crusades, thousands gathered to hear the Word of God, to be taught by this great man of God. They started coming from the early hours of the morning in anticipation of their miracles. And like in Bible days, they brought many that were sick with diverse diseases that he might heal them. Great was the faith of the people. And when the even was come, the man of God, Pastor Chris, stepped into the stadium with great power. In that meeting, Christiana, a 57-year-old woman who had suffered motor neuron disease from birth, received a healing touch. What happened to your limbs? I had a, a disease called motor neuron disease, and it affects the whole nerves. So it affects the, the whole nerves? Yes. So it starts from the brain. The nerves collapse, and you can't move any part of it. For how long has this been? I was born with it. They said my mother was... Um, you were born with it? Yes, my mother was trying to abort and... Your mother was trying to abort you? Yes. When you were... A baby. In her womb, right? How old are you? I'm 57. You are 57? <laughs> bring that, bring, bring, bring that baby. You're feeling the power of God, right? Yes. She's already feeling the power of God. You're feeling the power of God. Can we can we remove this braces? Just a moment. You had to have this. Can you imagine growing up with things like this? Where's the second one? See that? Now, 
precious Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woman, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our God is in you. Could I have two people pick her up on either side? Pick her up. Hold her up. Now. Jesus. Come. The power of God is on her. The power of God is on her. Yeah. Pick her up. Come. Come. Yes. Come. On the side. Great. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Take up your leg like this. Do that faster. Somebody say hallelujah. Come. Come, let's go. Let's go. That's it. That's it. And you get stronger and stronger. Do it faster. Yeah. Yeah. You get there. How this brings to mind the story of the man lame from his mother's womb who sat at the gate of the temple called Beautiful in Acts chapter 3. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Oh, Jesus is wonderful. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for coming for me. Do you believe in this miracle? 